This fly is the Dana, and I'm going to show you how to tie this fly today. Um, I cannot take credit for this pattern, though. It it was tied... I was at a um, fly tying gathering, and um, there is a man who was tying these, and I was curious because I hadn't seen something like this before, and he showed me how to tie it, and I can't recall his name. I'm really sorry about that, but... This is his pattern, and um, it's caught. I've caught a lot of fish on this, and it's easy to tie, and it works really, really good. So, got some lead wire. Do some wraps just to give it a little bit more weight because the marabou on it, it, it actually will float. Pretty easily so just a little bit of wire and you can put a bead head on this too it's really good with a bead head too just start in our thread get it up to the eye right back down Using six aught thread here in a rusty brown. And also use like a dark green olive color or black. Write that down. Clip off your access. And we're going to take some olive marabou. And some people go in from the top, like just clip off the top, but I like to kind of pull off some from the sides so it doesn't waste the whole like when I when I start running out of marabou fibers on the side I will just clip off the top and use that but for now I just pull off the side you're gonna measure it about the shank of the hook Tie that in. Back down. You're gonna take some rabbit dubbing in an olive color and wet your thread. Or use some dubbing wax, whatever you do. I like to dub it kind of, I like to dub it pretty thick on here. And you're going to want to leave yourself some room from the eye, the hook. So you're going to tie in some materials there. And next thing you're going to do is take some flashaboo. And pull off a string. And how I tie it in is I just put um, pressure on the thread up and over and it sits right on top. And then even out your, um, your flash. And then should do a couple wraps to hold it down. And then clip it about, you can go from the end of the tail, the end of your marabou here, or you can go like in the middle of the marabou. Just go there at the end. And then you can take that spare flash of boot and tie that in as well. Now this 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 part of the mar the flash of boot will might a fish might rip it out, but you have that uh, that other part there. They're, they won't be able to rip it out. So if they do rip this out, you still have some more, and it still works perfectly fine. I'm gonna clip that, 
And then you're going to tie in a, um, a ring neck rump hackle and olive color. You can use a, um, like a mallard duck flank, I think it's called. It works good. But you want a pretty big hackle fiber, you know, you want when you wrap it, you want it to flare, you know, you want the fibers to be pretty long. Because that gives it a good movement. And then you're going to tie that in. Right behind your eye, but still, you know, giving yourself some space between your eye. So you can make your head and a... Um, and you have room to wrap your hackle. Pull that down a little bit so you can find the top. And this stuff is, um, it's not super sturdy. It's not, not sturdy, um, what's the word? Durable. It's not really durable, so these do this this the hackle does get ripped off pretty easily but i've even a, about a week ago i was um fishing and the hackle got caught some rainbow trout and the hackle got ripped off and i was going to change out my fly but i was like you know what i'll just stick with this and i ended up catching another one and getting quite a few other bites. And I know the hackle doesn't look all that great right now, but they'll get there. And then kind of fold them back and make a head, your head. So it kind of will taper those fibers back a little bit. Just like that. And half inch. Or whip finish, whatever you like to do. And clip off your excess, and then take some head cement, and right in here, put that on. there you go that's the um the dina and i definitely would recommend tying a few of these up and giving them a try in your area they really work for everything i've caught every species of bass pretty much on there well every freshwater bass on there like largemouth really like it i catch a lot of guadalupe bass on it and even trout like it a lot and so